In order to gather a true appreciation of why the researchers chose to look at lithium in reference to basically mitigating the damage uh, in regard to radiation treatment of children being treated for brain tumors. You have to really look at what led up to it. So we're going to look at the full study first and then dive right into the details of the actual outcome in this animal model in reference to lithium helping repair brain damage substantially in reference to radiation exposure. To proceed as follows. Lithium, commonly used in the treatment of bipolar disorder, has been shown to exert neuroprotective and regenerative, regenerative, that's an important word, effects in a variety of neurological insults as in damage. In preclinical studies, lithium protected the neonatal brain against the neurodegenerative effects of hypoxiaemia and rescued cognitive loss in adults as well as in young mice after cranial irradiation. The neuroprotective effects of lithium after cranial radiation are attributable to enhanced hippocampal neurogenesis and decreased apoptosis in young rats and mice. Lithium also restored synaptic plasticity in Down syndrome mouse models and in ongoing trials aimed at introducing lithium as a treatment of a broad range of brain-related disorders. Despite the surge of studies conducted on lithium, the exact mechanisms of the action are only partly elucidated. So, now let's look at the study itself in regard to lithium reversing damage after brain tumor treatment. The researchers now show that the memory capacity and learning capability of mice, because it's an animal study, improve if lithium treatment is given after the radiation, after the irradiation of the brain. Part of the reason for that, as you look at the full research, they were concerned basically with neurogenesis if that could somehow possibly aid the brain tumor. So, or make brain tumors more difficult to treat. So the objective was to see what happened if they administered lithium after the treatment, just to play it safe, to proceed as follows. Lithium treatment is given after the irradiation of the brain. Mice were that were radiated early in life and then given lithium from adolescence until young adulthood performed just as well as mice who had not been given radiation. The researchers observed an increase in the formation of new neurons in the area that is important to the memory, the hippocampus, during the period in which they received the lithium. This part's important. But the maturity into full nerve cells are only occurred once the lithium treatment was discontinued. An analogy to the hypothesis would be, for example, uh, the construction of an apartment building, or an apartment building can only be occupied with whatever after the construction was completed. So basically, once it discontinued the lithium, the rest of the maturation occurred and henceforth repair to proceed as follows. But in the meantime, it kind of like cornered off the area and was building until the opportune time to be occupied. From this, quote, we conclude that lithium given along the lines of this model can help to heal the damage caused by radiotherapy even long after it was caused. That is just incredibly amazing for many factors. It's beside the point that somehow even after the damage, many years of the, uh, after the damage had been caused, the brain still knows what is required in order to meet optimal level and is just looking for the materials that it needs to repair in order to get back to the optimal function capacity even years after the damage was con uh, basically uh, inflicted, hypothetically. But to proceed as follows. The research group has previously shown that lithium protects against brain damage if given in connection with radiotherapy as it can prevent apoptosis cell death. They now want to start clinical trials in the hope they'll be able to produce the first drug treatment for damage caused by the irradiation of the brain. Thus, quoting, to show as we did that lithium can rescue neurogenesis long after radiation is an important step before validating its use in childhood brain tumor survivors. 
Lithium treatment could then be used for all survivors who have already been treated and suffer from late appearing cognitive deficits. All right, now here, keep in mind, this was an animal study. I'm gonna give you the dosaging information and post it up here real fast for your review. Pause it, write down if need be, but regardless, the DOI citation I'll be given to you, and on the YouTube channel in particular, the link will be there to the full study so you can look more into you on your own. But now to conclude, quote, we're only just beginning to understand lithium's effects on the brain's ability to repair itself. Quoting, in this study, we observed that only irradiated cells are affected by lithium. Healthy cells were left relatively untouched, which is an interesting and promising result. Also, by the way, as you notice from the slide in regard to the dosaging information in the animal model, it was lithium carbonate. I know there's lithium aspartate, there's lithium arginate, there's lithium orotate. There's many different forms of lithium that are out there, but again, I refrain from saying you can have the similar results, so to say. So the study was done on lithium carbonate, so basically the reference in regard to the study is a lithium carbonate only. Everything else is adding publisher bias. Incredibly incredibly promising uh, outcome in regard to the administration of lithium, at least in this animal model. Now next is to begin human trials, even to mitigate the damage long after the radiation uh, basically was received is just fascinating. Well, again, I hope this information comes of use. The information will be there to bring to a medical professional or for your researcher to delve into more detail. It's full studies published. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you find this information of use. And as always, look forward to seeing you all again in seven days. Ralph signing off, and thank you. Catch you next time. Bye.